Hi everyone. I hope you are all doing well. I'm Manhar and welcome back to our safety webcast. In this video, we are going to learn the steps on how we can create a fixed size virtual disk for a Hyper-V VM. In the previous videos, we covered the dynamically expanding disk type and the differencing disk type. Now, let's take a closer look at the fixed size disk in Hyper-V. First, let's understand what a fixed size virtual disk is. The fixed size disk type in Hyper-V is a VHD format where the entire specified disk space is allocated up front. Unlike dynamically expanding disk which grows as data is added, a fixed size disk uses the full amount of storage immediately. The VHD size does not change when data is created or deleted. For example, if you create a 40 GB fixed VHD, then it means 40 GB disk space of the host storage will be dedicated for this VHD alone. This can improve performance since the disk size is predetermined and it avoids fragmentation or the need for the system to resize the disk later. It typically offers better performance for applications that require intensive disk activity as it doesn't change size when data is added or removed. The fixed size disk is zeroed out during its creation, which improves performance since Hyper-V doesn't need to perform a zero operation when the first write occurs. The zeroing also a security measure, ensuring that any underlying data in the physical storage cannot be accessed by the disk scanning tools within the virtual machine. In most cases, it is recommended to use a fixed size disk as it offers better resiliency and performance compared to other disk types. Whenever you create a new virtual machine in Hyper-V, the virtual disk is set to dynamically expanding by default. We cannot directly create a new VM with a fixed size disk in Hyper-V. What if we want to create a VM with a fixed size virtual disk? Well, that's exactly what this video is about. In this video, we will go through the steps to create a new virtual machine with a fixed size virtual disk. This process includes three steps. Step 1. Create a new VM without specifying the virtual disk. Step 2. Create a fixed size virtual disk separately. And Step 3. Attach the fixed size disk to the newly created VM. Let's start by creating a virtual machine without adding a hard disk. Let's open Hyper-V Manager. To begin creating your virtual machine, right-click your Hyper-V host and select New Virtual Machine. On Before You Begin screen, click Next to continue. First, give your virtual machine a name. For example, we will name as Fixed Disk Test VM. We also have the option to store the virtual machine in a location other than the default. If you choose to store it elsewhere, you can click Store the virtual machine in a different location and use the browse button to select a new location. After specifying name in location, click Next. Next, choose the generation of our VM. For most modern VMs, Generation 2 is recommended. Click Next. Now assign memory to the virtual machine. Let's assign 4 GB, but you can adjust this according to your needs. We can also enable dynamic memory later if desired. Once that's set, click Next. Now it's time to configure networking. If you have a virtual switch setup in Hyper-V, select it here. If not, you can create one later. For now, we will skip the network configuration and select Not Connected. Click Next to continue. Choose the third option, Attach a virtual hard disk later. By selecting this option, we are telling the new virtual machine wizard not to create a hard disk for the VM as we plan to do it later. Click Next, then click Finish to complete the VM creation. After completing the wizard to create the Hyper-V VM, we can go back into the VM's properties and add a hard disk. Since we choose to add a hard disk later, we now have the option to add a fixed size disk. In the second step, we will create a new fixed size disk for our virtual machine. Right click on the newly created VM and select settings. In the VM properties, click on SCSI controller. Select hard drive and click the add button. On hard drive page, click the new button. Click next. In the Choose Disk Type, select Fixed Size. Click Next to continue. Next, we will be prompted to provide the name and location for a new virtual hard disk. You can choose any location accessible to the host system or simply accept the default location. 
In this example, I am giving the virtual disk name fixed disk1. We are storing this virtual disk on the default location. Click next. Enter the desired size of the disk. For example, let's use 40 GB here. Click next to continue. Click finish to create the fixed size disk with a 40 GB size. The duration depends on the size of the disk and the performance of your physical disk and Hyper-V host. The fixed size disk has been created successfully and is now selected. Now simply click apply and then OK to attach the fixed size disk to the VM. Our VM with the fixed size disk is now ready for the OS installation. Open file explorer. This is the default location where Hyper-V host is storing the VHD files. We can see our newly created fixed size virtual disk with the name fixed disk1. Check the size of the disk. It should be 40 GB. Let's click OK and close file explorer. You can also use Windows PowerShell to create a fixed size virtual disk. Right click the Windows Start button and select Terminal Admin to launch the PowerShell with administrative permissions. We'll use the new hyphen VHD commandlet to create the fixed size virtual disk. Type command new hyphen VHD hyphen path d colon slash VHDS slash fixed disk 2 dot VHDX hyphen size bytes 5 GB hyphen fixed. This command will create a new fixed size disk named fixed disk 2 in the d colon slash VHDS folder with a 5 GB size. Press enter to execute the command. As we know, this will take some time to create a fixed size disk. The new fixed size virtual disk has been created successfully. Check the VHD type. It should be fixed. Now you can attach the virtual hard disk to any VM just like we did before. In this video, I won't be covering the OS installation steps as I have already addressed them in another video. I'll include the link to that video in the description so you can refer to the steps for installing the OS in a Hyper-V VM. This is how you can create a new fixed size disk in Hyper-V using both the Hyper-V Manager and Windows PowerShell. That's all for this video on how to create a fixed size virtual disk for a Hyper-V VM. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Microsoft Hyper-V and other Microsoft related topics. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.